Hey friends, just a few days ago, me and Melissa started our 14th year of the 18 inch journey. And this truly is me and Melissa's favorite time of the year. It's where we stop for a few months and we pour our heart and soul into a handful of students. The 18 inch journey is this small discipleship school that many of you have reached out and said, we wanna be a part of this, but unfortunately we don't have enough space on this land for all you guys. So one of the things that we have dreamed up these last few years is how can we create an online experience where you can experience the beauty and the teachings that happen here at the 18 inch journey. So we've created this online platform called Engaging Cultivate, inspired by our Cultivate devotional books, inspired by the teachings of the 18 inch journey. And in this last summer, we have created a new workshop called Engaging Sound. Now, this workshop was inspired by our Cages Birds instrumental album just released a few months ago called Generosity and inspired by our Cultivate devotional books. This is a beautiful workshop that will take you deep into God's heart, deep into your heart, and will activate um, so much of what we do here at the 18 Inch Journey. You can click on the links below to learn more about our Generosity Instrumental Album and learn more about Engaging Cultivate and this new workshop, Engaging Sound. And we're about to roll out a video for me and Melissa where we sit down and tell you guys even more about this new workshop, Engaging Sound. I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope all you guys are able to do this beautiful online workshop and experience what God is doing here on this land. Thank you guys for watching. workshop we love instrumental music yes and when we started working on this album and then it came to completion and we were sitting in these beautiful beautiful songs um, we just thought it would be so incredible to actually pair it with lessons and prompts on how to engage instrumental music um, this is a beautiful rhythm that we practice all the time as a family mm -hmm. as a community in our schools in our retreats we were so excited even about the mission and really the direction of this album was focused on cultivate our devotional series. And, you know, every title of the book um, is pretty deep. And mm -hmm. I think beyond being titles, they are the values of our community, of our heart before the Lord. And we've just loved kind of taking a risk on like, what if we actually created the sound of Cultivate. Like, what would it feel like to have music that yes. actually pairs with these volumes? So it's it's a really different thing for us to do, but we just feel so much weight on it. These lessons are rich. Um, they are vulnerable um, from me and Jonathan, mm -hmm. from Molly and Joel, who wrote all this stunning music. And we're just excited for you guys to, you know, experience something a little bit different, dive into a different part of the Lord's heart and really practice being affected. Mm -hmm. um, instrumental music, my favorite part of it is that it it is so affecting. If we actually still our hearts and open ourselves up to the music, it's very deep and it will hit a very deep place in our heart. And so, yeah, we're just charging and challenging you. Let yourself be affected. Yes. Take your time going through these lessons. They are really rich. Yeah, and they're going to challenge you. They're going mm -hmm. to inspire you. Yeah. We hope they create a table for you to meet with God at, to feast on who he is. And um, one of the things about instrumental music from our very first summer camps to our schools now, we've always used music, especially yeah, instrumental music, true. as a way to get out of your head and get into your heart. Yeah. And um, there's this beautiful scripture that's hidden inside of 2 Kings 3.15. And it's this moment where Elijah is with one of the kings and the king needs him to prophesy. Mm. And before Elijah can prophesy, he says this in Elijah, uh, in 2 Kings 3.15, he says, now bring me a musician, and when the musician played, the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. Isn't that incredible that as the musician played, the Spirit of the Lord moves upon Elijah yeah. and he's able to prophesy. And before the music, he, he's almost like he can't prophesy yeah. until the music's played. Right. Some, of the, some of the translations say a harpist or a minstrel. So yeah. it wasn't lyrical music. Right. It was instrumental music that activated something in so the spirit good. and something in Elijah's heart. Right. And that's our prayer for you guys as you engage these prompts 
and this music begins to play that the spirit of the Lord would come upon you and you would encounter him. You would really begin to cultivate that beautiful garden in your heart. Yeah. We bless you guys as you dive into this workshop.